What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of whatever I call this. Uh, today, I want to show you guys my latest deck. Uh, I was using the mirror and some random cards, elixir pumps, and it hit me to a new high, and then I dropped. And I dropped, and I dropped, and I dropped. And I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, so, as you'll see here, I am currently at my all-time high of 2807. And I don't know how long it's going to last, but here's the deck. I uh, did a little bit of trial and error. Uh, ended up, the knight was kind of the, the key item to bring this deck together. It's a nice defensive troop. But it's not super high. You can see my average elixir cost is 3.4. So I think it's actually the lowest elixir cost deck I've ever used. Uh, but it's working really well overall. I don't win every game. Uh, those are some games against my clanmates. So here's the victory that put me over 2,800. So let's go ahead and watch this. And you can see that the deck is... It's interesting. Uh, having such a low average casting or cost, uh, I'm able to throw an offensive push kind of randomly and at will so that you start up with the, the hog from the distance. The goblin's right in front of it, expecting some fireball, and he drops another group. I'm like, oh, that's not good. I don't think that was a a bad play of the goblins there. And he comes in with a prince. Level 4 prince. I don't have a single epic at level 4. I have epics at level 3, as you can see from my dragon. And I instantly think, uh-oh, what am I going to do? Uh, so it's a rebuild, rebuild phase. And he starts with a defensive pump. Which, if you, uh, at level six, and I have a few rares at level six, but as you'll, as you know probably, the elixir elixir collector has a lot of hit points. It's very hard to get a hog through just because of the amount of time, and I misplay that a little bit. I would have rather had it centered. So I'm thinking, okay, what do I do? How do I break through? Oh, molts high. I, I'm gonna be watching that soon. And freeze? Nope, fireball. To kind of soften it up. A lot of times, I'm I'm seeing a lot of barbarians, and I'm kind of wishing at times I had the the bomber because I do love the bomber. We see that that happy little dragon's gonna take him from 21 down to 16 so 500 damage from an untouched dragon like a lot of times I feel they just don't do a whole lot of damage but when they do get in there they they do solid damage and I'm thinking hey look the hog won't get there or won't hit that no but he does now I'm stuck on full elixir wonder what I'm supposed to do because all of this stuff all of his counter is gonna come towards me I'm like oh god fireball throw a troop in throw the dragon he's got another dragon Throw the knight in. He's got <laughs> barbs coming in. Get the spears in the back. Oh, and look, another knight. That down. Get, tried to get the goblins in front of him to stop that initial charge, but so unsuccessful. Like, I'm gonna come out with old dragon. I don't know how. But I believe I get a little bit cheesy here with. But, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? I know that I need to get in there. He's got a big push coming in. <clears throat> Defensive fireball. Hog hits. Hog hits. That's just to distract the the baby dragon. Look at the look at the knight sneaking in there. The knight will do some serious damage. It's one hit away now. One hit. Bam. Get the overtime victory. That was that was intense. So let me try to show a different deck.
so I drew there. Uh, good victory here. Here's a here's a good one to watch. The golem. So this is the unpumped mirror golem deck. I invited this guy to the clan. We'll do this in double time because I do. Uh, if you noticed, I have one crown left for my crown chest. Uh, I mean, I still have five hours, but hopefully I'll be able to play one match and get that even if I lose. So he drops his golem. I had already had kind of a push in there. Because normally I will do my best to throw everything I have, um, or at least up to six elixir. Uh, ooh, he almost got the double hog in, but I was able to get the, that just in time. And his push outdid my push. Wait for the dragon to take the hit the tower, and then go in with the hogs because he's got his golem over there. And then get ready for this. Like I'm at full elixir, and I want to use something, but I didn't really want to throw anything out right that moment. All right, 30 seconds left. So the silly minions get a couple hits. Again, a level 4 dragon. I'm running into a lot of uh, higher level troops than I have. So I, I hear a lot of people talking about the level of the player. Oh, he's the highest level 7. You know, he's the highest this. I was like, but it, it really, it only matters on your troops. You're... Because I, I've seen people who are level 7 and I'm thinking, oh, I got a little bit of an advantage. Bam. Uh... But I don't because a level seven can have higher troops than I can, or than I do. So, yes, you get a little bit of of more damage, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but it really is not the key point. And I want to show one more replay before we jump into a live. It'll be in double time. It's against my clanmate Troybin, who worked me. I felt really good at the beginning. He's got an average of uh, five. Uh, felt really good at the beginning, and all of a sudden, I was fighting to try to stay alive, and it failed. So a good quick push. You know, I try to um, manage. See him start dropping collectors. I know that they will be low on elixir. Prince. I'm like, okay. Handled the princes before. Handled that push. Pretty proud. Damn it. Bam. Four collectors. All of a sudden, I will not be able to handle said push. Got a good freeze. Couple hits. The knight is good for distraction. Probably should have let him hit my tower. And he drops the Pika, Pekka, so instantly I throw goblins to take that tower and get in some good damage there. It, it really hurts when your fireball doesn't take out a wizard. Uh, you can see, look at this. He's got a Pekka. I take out the knight. He drops another Pekka. He's still got two dragons. Drop a dragon. I still got his wizard. How did the splash not take out a wizard right away? And he's got a full Pekka, another I, I'm trying to do something and bam I, I go down I, I really just couldn't do it you know thinking of it I, I was thinking maybe I could have out pushed him but absolutely no way I could out push him okay so let's jump into this It'll be kind of a shorter episode today because I know I normally go 20 ish or so minutes and well it's at night now so Let's see if we can actually get it in my first game. It would be nice. And I really, I want to drop the... But at the same time, I'm, you know, I want to have the uh, available in case I just, he drops a golem. And I, I want to throw everything I can. See if I can time this. 
See, I'm running into that block. Let's fireball that. And that's where the pain comes. Drop another one. Pull him back. Pull him back. This is uh this is looking scary, to say the least. Look at all of those spear goblins. It feels like when you're when you're behind it, it feels like your elixir is just so slow to build up. It's like my elixir. When you're especially when you're struggling from behind, you can. I know he's gonna drop. This is the molt deck. I, I can't believe how many people are playing it after it was brought to light. So I assume he's saving up for that. Let's get some good damage in there. Oh, I missed the tower. Son of a biscuit. And I'm down a tower, and I haven't even touched his. I haven't even come close to touching his. You could fireball. Big bunny, big bunny, boom! Drop the spear goblins. Sorry, I'm getting a little quiet. So look at this right here. You see that barb attacking them over the router? What sense does it make to range? And you can attack them over the tower. Get something in there. Good game. I, he played that very well, I have to say. We'll jump right back into it. I, I just... I couldn't break through. Uh, very... I mean, it's a good deck because it's very hard. Alright, so this is an aggressive starting hand. If you don't know, you can do the... Uh, the double throw, so I love it when they place those wrong. And I can sneak in a dragon. Let's see what he's got for defenses. We get to learn another card. Then drop a sneaky little Tesla. And get ready for the freeze. No, probably not going to freeze, considering everything's already died. Get some good damage there. Jump in it. Uh, power is not going to be long. We'll put up another one. Uh, give him a well played. Sneak past, 1989. Down, going down, come down. You to us. So you gotta love that. And we'll get ready with the hog. And I was told that if you freeze it like that, then the trap doesn't even pop up. But uh, this is not looking well. I did try the giant for a little while. Um, I, I wasn't having nearly as much luck as I'm seeing other people get against me that have it. I must say. Just wait, wait and cry inside. I 
and get ready. Louis going to the super defense. Get a big freeze. Too little, too late. Good game. And of course, um, decks change all the time of what works and what doesn't work. I do like his deck. Again, I'm. I just don't have consistent luck with the the whole mirror pump strategy. I probably could have played that a little bit more aggressive. But you know what? Will help us. There's some knights. That's the key. That's the key. Is cards. Not that you ever get a card you need. You know, most of the, excuse me, most of the time. See, it was nine minutes. Two games later on, our third game. Nice standard length game. Do 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 do. Where to go? Start pushing the back. Get that sneaky dragon in. We'll be panicking a little bit now. Thinking, oh no, what do I do? Fireball. Come on, not even one hit. That's okay. Of course, he's pumping. That pumps, they, if they're not, um, if you're not pushing them, those pumps will do some serious acceleration for the other people. Get a, it's a dude over here. I like to throw in some aggression. And then hope I get to reload. Come over here, come over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over here. No, he's hitting me from every direction. Not good. Dragon, 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 dragon. Ow, it hurts. It hurts. I wonder if I play worse when when you guys are watching. Logical, doesn't it? I think so. That was weird. Did you see that? We'll get behind the guy or the wizard here. Get him ready. Get them ready. I probably should have fireballed there. Get that down here. And I really not exactly sure what to do. Fireball, 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 fireball. Good game. Well, I guess we're gonna play one more. 42, owie, owie, owie. Uh, you know, I I did think that I was uh, at the top of my possibility, just uh, based on the decks I'm playing. You know, when you start playing level nines or people with higher cards than you, you know you're it's gonna you're gonna struggle to go up, and that that's what it is. You know I could spend another hundred or thousand or what have you, and I, I would hit another wall. You know it's just it, it's a guarantee that you can only get so far before you start hitting walls. Just let them do some playtime. Probably should have dropped this off sooner. 
Let's catch them with a fireball, just because they're going to cause problems for whatever he's going to do next. I know a lot of times people will start um, the little troops in the back like that, that are just going to end up being big problems later. So. Start burning those down a little bit. Get some good damage on that one. And then... Let's get that freeze ready. Nope. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Probably could have positioned him a little bit better uh, so that he wasn't hitting both. That was good. Just a little bit of damage there. I expect a Tesla because that's what you should do, right? Hmm. We want to make a push so we'll hit him on this side. Because the Tesla shouldn't pop up. Oh, of course it does. How does the Tesla pop up from over there? I have no idea. Doesn't make any sense to me. That's about all I can say to that. Trying to use our elixir, but position our things as carefully as possible. That bomber causes problems, so we'll just deal with him. We'll deal with his Tesla by putting our Tesla down, and we're just going to rush. We've got 13 seconds left of regular time. Seems like a great time to get in when you fit in. Or not. Just save up some mana, elixir, what has you. There, you should be low on elixir. Get ready with the freeze. Not sure what to do. Well, this is going to be a draw. Good game, sir. Good game. So, as you can see, the freeze can be used offensively or defensively. But, although we didn't get there, I'm going to say thanks for watching. And leave a like. Uh, leave a comment. Helps out a ton. And this is Zero Cool or Cyrix Chips signing off. Thanks again. Peace.